Story 1 When I was still in the restaurant industry, someone ordered a turkey burger medium rare. I explained that we have to serve the turkey burger fully cooked due to it being poultry. But it's a burger. Yes, but it's a patty made out of poultry. So why is it on the burger menu? Well, it even says on the menu that our turkey burgers are cooked well done. But your burgers are cooked to order. Yes, our beef patties are cooked to order. Turkey burgers need to be fully cooked. She begrudgingly relented, then complained to my then manager that I'm an idiot. Story 2 Mom heard on the news that Mars was going to be close enough to Earth to see with the naked eye. A couple of evenings later, she pointed up at the sky and said, Is that Mars? That's the moon, Mom. Are you sure? Very much so. She's not suffering from dementia either. She's just oblivious. Story 3 Worked on an animated movie as a group project. Had this discussion. Can you take a look at the credits and check that it's correct? Yeah, it looks good. Except you put me and Dave on character design. I did character design and Dave did the backgrounds. If you can fix that, it's all good. So, credit Dave for the backgrounds? Like this? Yes, and remove him from character design. But why? Because he didn't design any characters. I designed every character on screen. But he drew a boat. Yes, but it wasn't a sentient boat, and it was in the background. So it's part of the background design. But he drew a plane. It was also not a sentient plane. Characters are the things that are alive. I seriously don't understand what you want me to do. Remove Dave from character design since he didn't design any. That doesn't sound fair. Hi, Dave. Did you design any characters? Uh, nope. You did all of them, remember? See, Dave didn't design any characters. Can you please remove him from character design? Okay, if it's that important to you. Story 4. Lad I used to know when we were 17 or so once said he knew someone who could run a mile in one minute. When I called bullcrap, he said, How the F would you know? So I said he'd have to be running at 60 miles per hour. He then asked me how I knew that. So I said, well, if he could run a mile in one minute, that means 60 miles is 60 minutes. Therefore, 60 miles per hour. He then said, that's not how it works. Oh, bless him. Story 5. I had a female co-worker who got really upset when Prince Harry got engaged to Meghan Markle. When I asked why, she said it was because she wanted to be a princess. I laughed, because that's a very silly thing for an adult to say, and I genuinely thought she was joking. She just looked me dead in the eyes, super serious, and said again, I wanted to be a princess. We all lived in a country very far away from the UK, and she had almost a 0% chance of ever meeting Prince Harry. Story 6 Don't ever do that again. If you blow your nose while on the toilet and while on your period, your organs will fall out of your bowl and vagina and you'll die. Said to me by my mother the first time I got my period. I had the flu at the same time. Ripped TP off the roll and blew my nose. She wagged her finger in my face and told me the above statement. I'm 29 now, still waiting for my organs to fall out of my bowl or lady bits. I figure it's gotta be any day now, right? Story 7 a co-worker, a morbidly obese fellow, said that he didn't need to do cardio because he drank coffee and energy drinks. Because those things made his heart beat faster. And that's all that cardio is. He doesn't need to exercise. Completely and totally serious. To the point that he absolutely could not understand why people waste their time running. Because energy drinks exist. Story 8 Someone told me that drones were an extreme security threat, which is a fine argument to make, as long as you have the evidence to back it up. But when he instantly followed up with the comment, But how do the spies fit inside the drones? These drones have to be pretty big to fit the people inside. This had me dumbfounded. Story 9. I went to see a doctor for my neck issues. She was asking me questions. She asked about my commute to work. I said I did have a long commute. My neck would bother me while driving. The doctor told me, in all seriousness, when traffic is stopped on the freeway, get out of the car and walk around the car as many times as possible to stretch. Walk around the car while stopped in freeway traffic. I never had another appointment with her again. Story 10. I had a high school student, in an honors level class, once ask a question. 
I don't remember the exact context. So is that why you stop, drop, and roll when there's a fire? She was legitimately surprised when I told her that stop, drop, and roll was for when you are on fire, not just when there is a fire. Story 11. I knew a girl in high school who thought chipmunks were baby squirrels. While not the most outrageous thing to think, when we all told her that wasn't the case, the teacher told her that wasn't the case, the internet told her that wasn't the case, and an encyclopedia from the library told her that wasn't the case, she refused to believe it. She even went so far as to lie about having a pet chipmunk that grew into a squirrel. I wonder how she's doing these days. Oh yeah, she's in the United States House of Representatives. Figures. Story 12. I tried to plan a festival with someone. I said we had to follow the alcohol laws in our country if we wanted to sell alcohol. She said that was stupid and unnecessary because who would shut us down? Turns out, the venue refused to rent to us unless we followed the law. Who would have guessed? I also tried to explain to her that we couldn't take money we were given to use on equipment and use it for a pizza party. She asked why not. I said because it's embezzlement and illegal. I had to explain that to her five times. Story 13. I had a roommate once who was, to put it nicely, not the brightest. Once, we were ordering from a takeout place, and she asked, What is goat meat? My friend and I stared at her, confused by her question. It's a goat, we answered. No, but what animal does it come from? Goat? But like, pork is from pigs, beef is from cows. What is goat meat from? A goat. No, but like, you can imagine the rest of the conversation. My friend and I still laugh about this years later. Not the stupidest thing she ever said, but definitely my favorite. Story 14. I had a tooth crack in Afghanistan. Dentist effed up the patchwork. Two months later, my root abscessed into my sinus. Incredible, incredible and unique pain. Emergency flight to a base with a dentist. They pull the tooth, which caused a hole from my mouth directly into my sinus. Took three weeks to heal. Dentist did not give me a single post-op painkiller. I spent all night sobbing in pain, bleeding all over my shirt. Before going in the next day, the dentist stopped at my billet, sees me in a blood-soaked shirt, eyes sunken and red from crying and in pain all night, and asks in a complete serious voice, How are you feeling? Bad, Captain. I feel bad. Story 15. Not to me, but my 10th grade history teacher insisted to our German exchange student that they celebrate Thanksgiving in Germany. Like the American holiday. She wanted to know what their traditional meat was, and I wish to goodness I was making this up. Sylvie was just like, no, we don't celebrate that. And our teacher looked like a deer in the headlights, nodding and saying, yes, yes you do. That was 20 years ago, and I still think about that. Story 16. I'm using a story I just posted to another thread because it's perfect for this. I was 11 and my sister was 9. We had just moved to a new town and were with my mom at the local big box superstore. My sister had to use the bathroom and with us being new in town, of course we had no idea where it was. We approached a manager to ask, excuse me, where are your bathrooms? I kid you not, this was her 100% serious answer. We don't sell bathrooms. Story 17. I work at my husband's auto repair shop. After discussing next steps with a customer, I told them their gas light was on. They sighed and said, Ah, oh, great. How do we fix that? My response was dead silence. I was trying to determine if they were messing with me or not. They realized during my silence, with the look on my face, that they just needed to put gas in the car. They are one of my favorite customers now and they certainly keep me on my toes. Story 18. Pointing at a photo of a cave in the distance I took in Israel. In that cave, they found the 2,000-year-old Dead Sea Scrolls. My friend, were they still alive? Me, befuddled. Were who still alive? The squirrels, the Dead Sea Squirrels. Story 19. Traveling 200 miles through Mexico about 30 years ago via bus at nighttime, and the driver never turned on his lights. I sat just a few seats behind the driver, and as it was a moonlit night, he could somehow navigate the white crushed rock roads all night without any headlights at all. 
I was white knuckle frozen all night for this trip and didn't dare to fall asleep. When we got to the bus station in Guadalajara in the morning, I asked one of the other bus drivers why a driver would drive with no lights at all. He looked at me like I was dumb and said, To save electricity, of course. Story 20 You're not really disabled, though. Just because you can't see my disability right away, and I can function fine day to day, and I'm not in excruciating pain 90% of the time, does not mean I'm not physically disabled. Like the bones in my arm are fused together since I was born. I was never able to turn my wrist, and it affects about 90% of the movements I make with my hand. Sounds pretty physically disabled to me. Story 21. Ex-boss wanted to know why his business was failing, and I explained that his post on social media made it sound as if the business was failing because he wrote an extensively long post saying, in essence, that he was selling the business. People stopped coming in because they thought he was closing the business because he rambled on and nobody clicks more on social media posts. He then said, Well, if we're weeding out the dumb customers, that's exactly what I want. We're better off without them. <laughs> okay, buddy. Your business is now failing miserably, but let's lose the dumb ones who allowed you to pay your bills. Story 22. It takes light from the sun 7 to 8 years to reach the earth. I think you mean minutes. No, don't be stupid. The sun is super far away. Well, yeah, but the speed of light... Light doesn't travel any faster in space than it does on Earth. That's a myth, huh? Story 23. My great-uncle continually says, Gay people will raise gay children. Last time he said it, I said, Oh, absolutely, because straight people only raise straight children, right? He stopped talking about it after that. The best part? He has no idea my mom is gay, and she raised myself and my brothers alone. My father is a POS. Story 24. I worked in a deli one summer vacation when I was in high school. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll with salt, pepper, and ketchup, B-E-C-S-P-K, is a Long Island staple. So I took a lot of those orders. Specifically, we had a small form customers would fill out to indicate how they wanted their eggs, what kind of cheese they wanted, etc. Someone ordered a sandwich and they circled pepper where it said salt and pepper. I ring the guy up after the sandwich was finished, and he sat down to eat it. He came up to me, handed me his form, and said he ordered his sandwich with peppers, but he didn't get peppers. I had to explain to him that the pepper in salt and pepper refers to the spice and not the vegetable. Story 25 When my oldest stepdaughter was 15, I picked her up after her sports practice. I asked if she felt good after such a good exercise. She said yes, but then complained that she should have taken a shower before I picked her up. I didn't understand. She said, well, now that my sweat dried on me, my workout won't make a difference. I drove in confused silence for a minute and then started giggling. Wait, do you think that your body reabsorbs fat through your sweat if you don't shower quickly enough? I finally managed to ask. She also started to laugh and admitted that's what she thought, and that now she heard it out loud, it made no sense. We talked about biology the whole trip home. She's in her second year of nursing school now, and acing her classes. Story 26. I was once told by a math teacher that there was no such state as West Virginia. Only Virginia. He did this in front of the whole class of ninth graders and made fun of me. This was before smartphones. The next day, I took my parents' atlas that we kept in the car to school and laid it out on his desk at the pages for West Virginia. I wanted to say, who looks stupid now? But I did not. He said, fair enough, idiot. Story 27. My professor at school during COVID told those of us who were vaccinated to sit at the back of the classroom, away from him and the others, because he claimed our vaccine particles would spread. He also said that there was apparently a study done on cats with the original COVID vaccine, and the cats that received the vaccine all perished. So he believed that those of us who were vaccinated would all die within the year. Needless to say, I am still alive. Story 28. I worked customer service for a call center on grocery products. I had one lady call me to tell me that she burnt herself from an exploding can of soup. I asked her to further explain how this occurred. She said she took the can and placed the can into a pot and put it onto the stove. She never opened the can. 
Back then, they didn't have those removable tops like they do now. You had to use a can opener to get it open. She then said it exploded. Well, duh, compressed air lady. But I had to keep my cool and explain to her that she needed to open the can and empty the contents into the pot before placing it on the stove. The company had to issue new labels on all cans and instructions on how to open a can and demonstrate how to place it into a pot and then onto a stove to heat responsibly. I mean, common sense isn't so common when you think about it. Story 29 I worked at Disney World. I was told by a woman that she knew Mr. Disney personally and would see that I was fired because I didn't let her child, three inches too short, ride the ride. I got to break the news to her that Walt died before Disney World ever opened. I'm not sure if she was delusional, doubling down on the lie, or someone was lying to her. But man, security had to get involved in everything. Story 30. Guy told me it was a conspiracy that oil was running out. So I asked him why he thought that. He said it's because oil comes from bones, so all we need to do is grind up chicken bones. He got belligerent when I tried to explain that's not how fossil fuels worked, so I just left it at that. I can see where his tortured logic is coming from, but a science teacher somewhere must have had a hell of a time teaching him. Story 31 I had a friend in university who'd never met a black person in his life, he grew up in a small town in Ontario, ask me what color I bleed. When I said the same as him, he looked at me blankly and said, Seriously? I thought your blood would be black too. The whole room of people went silent, and I did not know what to say. So after a few moments, he got up and left the room. He apologized a little while later, but I think that's the dumbest thing someone has ever said to me. Story 32 Right after informing and showing my uncle my three degrees in business, he was talking to my dad, and when he said something I knew to be wrong, I politely corrected him. He told me, why don't you go get a business degree then if you know so much? My dad went and got my degrees out again. My uncle turned bright red and stopped speaking. Smartest thing I've seen him do before or since. Story 33 Not to me, but I was there when it happened. My boss had cystic fibrosis. One day, during a coughing fit, a client asked him if he was okay. He was able, between coughs, to explain that he had cystic fibrosis, and it was a normal thing for him. The client then said, You know, I've been coughing a bit lately. I think I might have caught that too. Boss explained that you can't just catch cystic fibrosis. She told him he was wrong. Story 34 you should give every guy that approaches you a chance, even if you aren't attracted to them, because you might learn to love them. As a woman, that is the right thing for you to do. This was said to me on Reddit when I stated that I won't date conservative Republican men. I was accused of bullying and hate speech and a bunch of butthurt men reported me. I almost lost my account. Story 35 I had a bad argument with my then-girlfriend which led to our breakup when she insisted that Jesus Christ was white. What's her rationale? Her father had a framed painting, likely a poster, of a blonde-haired and blue-eyed Jesus. No amount of reasoning could persuade her. That was the last straw, which led me to seriously reevaluating my life decisions and what I wanted in a partner, intelligence and education-wise. Story 36 when I was still in graduate school, there was a PhD schoolmate who mocked the current research in pattern recognition, saying, It's just labeling data according to your own intentions, letting the model aim at your preset goals to produce results. To put it bluntly, pattern recognition is making up fake data to serve your journal papers. I later repeated this statement verbatim to other mates, and everyone was shocked. They could not understand how someone studying for a PhD in control science could have such views. Later, it was discovered that he could not even explain the principle of SVM clearly. Story 37 An old colleague asked, Does the cow have to die to get the leather off? I said, No, they do it in the summer. The same chap believed that when a bank had been robbed with a sawn-off shotgun, that the manufacturer of the shotgun was a company called Sawn Off. Story 38 A morbidly obese friend eating a family-sized bag of Cheetos claimed that it was fine because it was only 500 calories. Yeah, per serving. There were 20 servings in that bag.
he had spent his whole life blaming his weight on all sorts of issues out of his control and claimed he always checked the calories of the things he ate but never noticed once the per serving part. He was close to 600 pounds then. He's down to about 185 pounds now, since he learned to actually read. Story 39. First, a little background. I was in special ed from 3rd grade to 12th grade. I had the same girl in my class for all of those years, and she was always nice, but sometimes would say things that made me question how she graduated kindergarten. The best example of this was in our senior year of high school. Our math teacher brought in his yearbook from the 1980s. Since the yearbook was from the 80s, all of the photos, or at least the majority of them, were in black and white. This girl, with complete seriousness, asked if it was black and white in real life. Then again, she never pays attention in class, so that probably explains it.